So in this video, we'll look at uh, a few tips uh, and a few considerations whether to restore or not to restore uh, an item. We are here in the workshop of uh, Savino del Prete, uh, just off the King's Road in, uh, in central London. Uh, one of the first considerations one needs to have uh, whether to restore something is to have a look at the item and for example here and if you can see that if you don't uh, restore the actual item and if you don't do something about the item then further deterioration will take place. Like for example of this painted and gilt wood stand, if one wouldn't restore it then the painting would actually continue uh, to fall off and, uh, and to chip away. Uh, between this and of course just uh, doing restoration for pure embellishment and to make the object look better, there's a whole sort of array and wide, uh, um, wide possibilities uh, of, of, of doing things. Uh, I think probably the, the best second tip would be not to over restore something. One needs to bear in mind that uh, for all the collectors uh, that are out there, uh, some people have got largely unrestored things in their home so if you start to over restore your things then you cut out a whole potential uh, of your buyer's market uh, because people wouldn't want to buy something that is over restored because simply within their collection it would look a bit too sort of fresh uh, and then a third tip a very simple tip uh, is not to necessarily restore your items uh, before you sell uh, and then one needs to look, take into consideration what market it is that you're selling in, whether it is a painting, a piece of furniture, uh, a medal, a photograph, and for each of those collecting categories, there will be various sort of standards uh, of what one is expected to see when something comes on the market. So first look into your particular area and category and see if actually your work would benefit from restoring or not before offering it to the wider public.